All right, guys, let's start this first video for the YouTube channel. I guess we're gonna call this Bat Dog Garage. I've been meaning to shoot video as I work out here, but the issue is, is it's so easy to just come out and work and not have to think about setting up and shooting and recording video. It is a pain in the ass. And there's been so many times I'll just come out here and it's like, I don't even wanna do it because it's just a nightmare to, to configure and plan and shoot video. I've got some stuff shot, but it's it, it's a lot of hassle. Well, you guys warned me that it was going to be a hassle, and I'm learning how much of a pain in the ass it is. So what I'm going to do is just, this is going to be a raw video. We're going to take a tour of the shop, show you guys some projects that will be on the channel, and hopefully I can get my ass together and get things sorted out as far as being proficient and, and get editing and everything done and quickly. So here we go. Let's take a look at the shop. Um, this is actually front door of the house. As you walk in, you walk into this three car bay. Um, it's one of the big things that I liked about the place when we moved uh, was that I could come down stairs, you know, anytime, day, night, and just come get stuff done, come work. So that was, that was actually nice. Um, but if I turn, there's a two car bay over here, and then there's this wood shop area. So um, originally, the, this first floor of the house, the entire first floor of the house was all garage space. There's three bay doors, or there's a double door, a single here, and on the other side, there's a two car. So there's five parking spaces, but this area here behind the Camaro gave you an additional two cars of parking. So it was seven car garage um, on the first floor. So when we were looking at this place, I realized that I could put walls up along here, and have a dedicated wood shop and keep the dust and everything inside. The issue is, is building the wood shop, everything has gotten dusty. All the cars get dusty. Every time I do drywall work, it gets dusty. So it's been a nightmare. It's been a nightmare because every time I do work, if it creates dust, I've got to clean everything. So I've started on dust collection. That will be the first actual tech video that we have. Um, and we'll get that going. So I'll take you on a quick tour of the shop, and then we'll be done. This, uh, this is the most recent car that we've gotten in. It's an 88 IROC, uh, no engine, no transmission. Uh, picked that up and uh, it's here. We'll have work on it at some point. It does have an old school audio system in it. There is an extant amplifier, uh, some MB Quark components, an Alpine head unit with Alpine EQ. Uh, let's see if I can get enough light in there to show you guys. And it's got some speakers and the kicks. So that is what's in there. The Chevelle here is a part. It's got an AM FM 8 track and uh, seats in the steering wheel. It's, all, it's a nice car, we love it. It's all stock except for wheels and tires. Uh, under the hood, it's just a 283 with vintage air. 6 liter LS will eventually get built and go in it, but that is the family hauler. Over here is the 73 Camaro. Uh, this thing is not stock. There's a lot of carbon. The hood, the fenders are carbon, the inner fenders are carbon. That is a 416 Memo Motorsports engine. Uh, the front end is all Corvette C7 stuff with bare six pistons. Uh, it's got a fifth generation Camaro independent rear with bare six pistons. And it's got a metric shitload of dust on it. But let's talk about the wood shop here before we go over to the two car side. And this wood shop is 28 by 11, I believe, uh, inside. I built this because I wanted to have a work area where I could keep all the dust and everything inside the shop and not, um, 
not have everything on the cars like you see here. The reason this fender's clean is because this is where I will lean and sit and talk all the time. It's the, it's the most comfortable fender in the shop. So, um, yeah, we're at 28 by 11 on the wood shop. And I decided to put one, a single window here, three along this wall, and put a big double door here. And I put this wall at a 45 where the door is so I can get stuff in and out and avoid this support post that's here in the shop. So, got a Coke machine for Coke, water, tea. There's a restroom down here, sink with cabinets. And if we walk through to this side, this is all two car stuff. And this is where the tools primarily reside, the toolboxes and stuff like that. Um, over here, I've got Will's van. Will sent this down from Pittsburgh for me to work on. And as you can see, it's absolutely gutted. Um, he had 14 amplifiers, four processors, 52 channels of amplification, and uh, he wasn't happy with it. Um, I got it down here and he sent it to me and I told him before it came that I did want to have to gut it and rebuild it. And he said, I, I hear what you're saying, but we'll have this discussion again when it gets there. It showed up and I kind of couldn't believe what I was seeing. So we've got a plan of attack on this thing and I, gutting it was easy, you know, just take everything out, see what we've got. Um, but now I'm at the point that it's time to start building and to build it, I need to get dust collection going in the wood shop. So here we go. Over here, I bought these racks just so I could put Will's stuff on it. Uh, there's, again, he had 14 amplifiers in the van, but there's 16 JL HD series amplifiers on the shelf. Um, all of this stuff you see on these shelves came out of his van. Um, it's it's going to be a big, big build, and there's going to be a lot of stuff that I'll be posting about it on the channel. Um, got stuff in cabinets over there, my kid's toolbox. Stuff that is still sitting around on the floor here. I've got some toolboxes full of stuff there. But all this stuff that you see, this is all a result of trying to work in one area, moving everything out of the way so you can work and have a clean work area to get stuff done so that you can actually put stuff away. Uh, these are all Chevelle parts here. So I've got this pile left and then the little bit that you saw over there on the floor and the shop is gonna be ready to go. Um, I'm not too worried about 100% finishing the sheetrock because that's not gonna get anything built for the vehicles like Will's van for the Chevelle. It's, not, it's just not gonna get anything done. So primary focus is gonna be on dust collection and I've bought stuff so I can measure and, and show you guys why I'm doing what I'm doing and some considerations that I think you should take when you look at setting up a system. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, you can see I've made a mess cutting PVC with the, with the miter saw. We'll get, uh, we'll get that video going. It's, there's some shout already. It's just a nightmare to come out and, and actually go through everything and make sure to get a shot of everything. You'll notice there's a 90 degree connector in this corner. The reason for that is I want to leave it, make measurements, and then change it and put 245s in and lessen the angle of that corner and see what kind of changes it makes at the lathe or at the router table. So we'll do that. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got grid wall hung up here with some old school Evol templates, some mobile solutions stuff. Uh, I've got more grid wall I'm gonna put up over the router table so I can have tools there above the table. Uh, you can see I've ran four inch for a floor sweep. A lot of people don't like a floor sweep, but I'm gonna use one. I've got four inch coming down so I can connect it to this saw stop overarm. I've got a four inch coming down that will go to the port on the table saw. And I've got six inch here. This six inch uh, pipe will come to a sanding table that I'll have here. When you're sanding body fillers or, or whatever, 
it's nice to have something that will actually collect a lot of dust and I figured the best way to do it is to use the full capacity of the machine with the six inch port. So I've got six inch running all the way across and down that will come into the sanding table. This is my router table. It's got a lot of drawers in it for storage. I built this in Hawaii because I wanted it um, to be multi-purpose. It's on wheels. I wanted to be able to have a router table that not only functioned as a router table and had good dust collection in it, but was mobile and I could use it as an assembly table or I could move it out of the way. Um, it's been a multi-purpose table. I can move it around, use it uh, wherever I need it. The trick is, is the height for this is good for my height. I'm 6'1". This is a good working height for me. This saw stop is four and a half inches lower than the surface of that table. So I'm gonna build a riser for the saw stop so I can get it at the same level as that router table because I'm all legs and I do not like having to work at this 34 inch table height. So over here we've got jet dust collector. Uh, been using that guy, you can see it's it's got a lot of use on it. This is all lathe tools. 60 gallon air compressor that came to me because it was in a wood shop with no dust collection and I was told that it blew up and it didn't work anymore. Uh, I took it home, disassembled the motor, cleaned it, and to test it I just hardwired it to a breaker and I've been using it since. Um, again, dust collection is the reason I have that and that's the first topic of the video. Uh, shock press, welding cart with a MIG, and plasma, some bench top, there's a chop saw, there's a sander there. Um, but yeah, there's, there's not a ton of stuff left to do out here. I've got dust collection piping. I've got a ton of forage stuff. When we were in Virginia and, and, and uh, in Hawaii, I ran four inch as my main pipe. Uh, that's a bad idea. I'll show you later why that is. You can see I've got a ton of dust collection bits and pieces. So there it is. Uh, that's a basic tour of the shop. Uh, this is the meat and potatoes of it right here where everything's going to happen. So I know it's not much. It's a raw video. And uh, hopefully you guys, I don't know, if you want to watch, cool. If not, that's cool too. <laughs> Uh, we'll get it going. We'll, we'll get it going. We've got a ton of stuff to do. There's a project there. There's a project there. A project there. Um, just getting stuff built in here has been has been a project. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoy it, and we'll have video up shortly.